wow guys, look at this. Step into Christmas. We're already here. We're seeing Christmas trees the first time this year. Okay, I've just made it back from Italy. I carted all of this home on the central line. Does anyone else have that when they hear a song and just transports them through a film? And this is one of my most favorite hotels in London. Morning everyone, how are we all? Welcome back to my channel and to a day in the lifestyle vlog. I thought I'd film this just to give you guys like a bit of an insight into what like a typical day online is for me. I know a lot of the vlogs I tend to do are just doing fun stuff and don't get me wrong, I think my job is very fun. But today is going to be like a day in the lifestyle, what I get up to, heading to a couple of events today. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd take you along for that. Today is Wednesday the 13th of September. It's still such lovely weather in London, but it's a lot cooler today. Thank goodness. Last week we hit 30s, which was toasty. The flat was very warm. This week it's a lot more cooler. There's a nice little subtle breeze coming through, and I'm so grateful for it. <laughs> Just made myself a coffee this morning. I've had some breakfast. We walked the girls this morning. It felt like a bit of an autumnal morning. The leaves were brown. It was, I don't know. I love summer. I'm a summer baby. I was born in summer, but I do love autumn. I feel like it's just oh, those crisp morning walks, not the bleak midwinter, but the crisp, fresh morning walks. Love, absolutely love. So yeah, today's plan, I am gonna head to, I'm sorry, I can't even believe I'm saying this, a Christmas showcase press day. So every year I head to the big Christmas press show, um, it's held in Angel in North London and, and then I've got a fashion preview and a lunch with a brand as well So I'm gonna head into town then head back get changed and then head back So it's like back and forth back and forth. So it's a busy day before we do get into today's video I want to say a big thank you to HelloFresh who are very kindly sponsoring today's vlog Their food is absolutely delicious and on a day like today it is a lifesaver so we get our boxes delivered at the beginning of the week so we can plan our meals this week's a really busy one for zara and i so having a hella fresh box kind of takes the stress out of needing to do a food shop we pre-choose our meals they've got some fantastic options on there we go for veggie ones and they're just so great to get them delivered to your door everything's in pre-assembled bags so each bag has a number on it which is then linked to a recipe card all of the ingredients are measured out so it eliminates food waste it works out really really good price per portion the portion size is really generous i eat a lot of food and i absolutely love them zara does too as you know we're a fan of risotto in this house and the baby tomato and tender stem broccoli risotto is so so good and then tonight for the last meal we're having an italian inspired cannellini stew with pesto bulgur wheat also if you are new to hellofresh you can use my discount code which is on screen and you can also scan the qr code so if you use the code luke c60 you get 60 percent off your first box and then a following 25 percent off your next eight boxes so that's absolutely incredible so if you get a box a week 25 percent off each box for two months how amazing is that? There's so many options on HelloFresh, so I'll leave that linked down below if you guys wanna check it out. I know a lot of people have gone back to school, you might be going back to work after the holidays, so it's a great option and we absolutely love it. So thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. So this is my outfit that I'm wearing for today. Started with my Uniqlo trousers and my little Veya trainers. I'm very excited. I think now that the weather's cooled down, autumn is in the air, Christmas is can I even say that word? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> let's go. So I've made it to the Business Design Centre here in Angel. I think this is my third Christmas press show that I've been to. And one year we actually did it before we were presenting the award ceremony, Ewan and I. I'm so good Ewan isn't here because um, he's on a trip in Spain at the minute actually which is so exciting for him um, and Kate, Kate McCabe is also coming but she's coming on the evening and I've obviously got plans after the evening so it's just me on my own today but that's all right we'll have a little look around yeah, getting me for Christmas let's go we're already here we're seeing Christmas trees the first time this year how exciting is this I love Dobby's a lot of you commented last year saying that um, you have some Dobby's garden centers near you Oh, I just love real Christmas trees. This gets to be so excited. I know it's still warm and it's still early to mid-September, but oh, wonderful. 
they were lovely people at Dobbins just gave me a little plant. How nice is that? I really, really need to visit one of their stores. They've got little Dobbies in London, um, and obviously like bigger stores around. But um, yeah, it's really good to know that you get a little, little touch of Dobbies in London. I'm gonna try my best not to kill that. Look at that, how lovely. I'm gonna try and fit that in there somehow and not walk around with this. <laughs> Just got myself a little coffee to try and perk me up for the day and I'm just about to look at Not On The High Street. It's a really, really great option for anything that's slightly different or alternative to what you can literally, funny enough, get on the high street. So it's some gorgeous little cocktail choices here. Um, it's really great and interesting to um, see what they've got year in, year out because it always changes. So this is a lovely creation I've just done. So this is Willow. Um, do you have like a little uh, business card or something? Ah, oh, lovely. There we are. Fantastic. Thank you so much. So this is a gorgeous little leather, beautiful, beautiful company that's on Not On The High Street. And I've just created a lovely little, little ensemble of paint here. I'm about to marble it and then hopefully it's going to turn out something like that. So here goes. Here we are. Do we just swirl through? Oh my goodness, that is so satisfying. It's like marble and chocolate. Wow. Less is more, right? Less is more. Is that fine? Oh my god, look at that! I'm just checking out the Jewelit stand. This has been on my wish list for many, many years. We've said when we move, this will be a house purchase that we will happily, happily make. The hand built in England, they're one of the most like, synonymous kitchen appliances. Like, if you see these in a kitchen, you instantly recognize them. And uh, yeah, they've come in a whole different range of colors. Great build quality fantastic warranty and they've also expanded now so they've got Jewelit air fryers, you've got coffee machines, all oh, that gold colour is quite nice as well, isn't that lovely? So I was just speaking to the lovely people at Jewelit and they've just launched a new travel mug so this actually keeps hot drinks hot for up to 7 hours and cold drinks cold for up to 12 hours. So yeah, I'm going to put this to the test, I'm sure you'll see this on dog walks and whatnot coming up. I know there's so many people who do red letter days and they really rave about them. If you are struggling for Christmas gifts this year and you don't know what to buy someone, I think an experience is a great idea. And um, you could even do it with them if you were <laughs> really close to that person. So yeah, this is what I was just saying. So there's everything from driving experiences, you can do little pamper afternoons for two, spa days, it's a real great idea. So I'm gonna link buy a gift and red letter days below for any of this takes your fancy. So, it is 10 past 10 in the morning. I am trying a candy cane martini. This is from a brand called Cocktail, which actually are founded and based in Newcastle. So it's so nice to have a fellow northern brand here in London. So this is the brand in here. I'm gonna show you some of the drinks, but they are pre-mixed cocktails. So this is gin based martini with some strawberry syrup and creme de menthe, so you've got like a pepperminty strawberry flavor. Really something that I love, let's give it a try. Oh, that's good, it's really nice. So you just put it in a shaker, shake it with some ice, and then um, yeah, you got five servings in a bottle, 20% ABV, so it's not gonna blow your socks off, but it's really, really delicious. It's really good. I'm not massive on peppermint, but that's nice and subtle. So these are the bottles. So there is a chocolate orange whiskey sour here, which has some lovely classic flavors of whiskey, but then you've got obviously orange and chocolate as well for a festive edition. And then you've got a candy cane martini, which is what I've just tried. Really, really delicious. Keep an eye out for these guys because it's lovely to see a northern brand. And I've just read here, it says that they were made by the former senior bartender at the Savoy Hotel. So, obviously the Savoy is one of the most fancy hotels in London, so you're getting really good cocktails. They do obviously non-festive ones as well, but these are the festive editions for the Christmas preview. What an absolute treat. Okay, I'm back home now. Quick change ready to head back out for a press preview slash lunch with Next. This is a very uncharacteristically busy day for me, um, but a lovely one nonetheless. I kind of try and sandwich everything in in one day, so I just head out for the once. But yeah, let me show you the suit I'm wearing. So this is the two-piece suit I'm wearing. It's from the Next Edit, which has just launched. That's the preview I'm going to today. How gorgeous is this? It's a really, really lovely double-breasted jacket with a little detail, and it'd probably be easy to show it on. So I'm gonna to head to the Oxford Circus showrooms, have a little look around the collection, show you guys as well. If you've got any events coming up, maybe for the festive season, or if you're going back to work, that kind of vibe. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be the plan. So I need to quickly get changed. Okay, so I'm keeping it super casual with a um, vest on underneath. This is the blazer. I've already tried this on, it's so, 
so nice like oversized but it just fits so well keeping my chin on as well i think that looks really nice with this how lovely is that tie it up on the side such a nice piece of so you can style this up with a turtleneck and or a shirt but i'm keeping it super casual just with a vest i'm gonna put my trainers back on too and there we are quick outfit change i think that's about five minutes i've gone for the russell and bromley trainers down below instead of my veers i feel like they're a little bit more smarter i really like this really really like this i'll link it down below if you have this in mind for anyone or if you're thinking about purchasing it for yourself it's beautiful Right, let's head back into town, this time to Oxford Street. We made it to Oxford Circus and the rumours were true guys, IKEA is coming to the heart of Oxford Street. It's going to be questionable, <laughs> I mean the marketing is brilliant, they made it a giant IKEA bag so prepare yourself because the video will be coming very soon where uh, we'll be having a little look around. Anyway, I need to head to the next showroom which is just up here on the right. <laughs> I am back home to two very excited Labradors. Hello! <laughs> it's just gone half past five. Zara has just been back half an hour ago to get changed for her work drinks this evening. So she's on the day shift I was on. I'm on evening shift. Looking after the girlies. We're going to go for a little tinkle. We're going to go for a wee. Oh my god, my eyes are so sore. The tube was so warm. I need to get out of this blazer. I love this suit so much. So I just had a look at the edit which is new to next and oh my goodness so many lovely pieces and like really reasonable prices too i will leave the whole collection linked down below as well as the main in mayfair i'm not gonna lie it's quite expensive oh my goodness but delicious i'm putting it out there some of the best prawns i've ever had in my life they were huge i'll leave a little photo on screen oh my goodness i don't even think they were prawns i think they were longestines delicious and the venue oh my goodness so it's a restaurant in the slap part of Mayfair. Wow. It's like a jazz slash cabaret club restaurant. Amazing. Next did the best event. I am very content and that collection is stunning. I got some lovely compliments on my suit as well. So there we are. However, I'm very glad to be home. I need to get out of this into some cozy gear, ready for a nice chill evening if I need to take the girls out. Okay, it's feeding time for the girls. There we are. Go on, Megs. Good girl. I've just been having a chill, catching up with some emails. I think I'm gonna go for a bit of a run before dinner. I know it feels like the last time I checked in with you guys, I was eating lunch, but I've kind of got an appetite again. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go for a run, clear the mind, do a busy day, and uh, yeah, prep dinner. I just had no idea. This is the best welcome to come home to. Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> I am back. That was a good 5k. I did that in 24 minutes and 22 seconds. Not bad. The strangest thing just happened. So in London, especially in our area, there's a, um, there's a running club. And I often see them and I've always wanted to join, but I've never really knew how to. And I, I've never really knew who to ask. And I've looked in like local Facebook groups and stuff, but I've never... I'm not really sure which one it was, and anyway, um, so I was just running in my own little world with my earphones in, and up above us, there was about, there was about 50 or so people, I thought, wow, that's a lot of people, what's going on there? Anyway, it was the running club, and uh, I've, 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 I always just run on my own, I've ran Zara a couple of times, and that's it. I took a running in COVID, and that's just been it, I've, I've always wanted to join it. This turned into a very long story, but basically, I was running with the group, and one of the, the um, I think they're called the running marshes or whatever they are. I was like, are you part of this group? I was like, I was running, I was like, no. I was really out of breath, I was like, I'm not, but I'm just trying to get past you guys, but the people in front are really quick. <laughs> he was like, you can run with us if you want. Um, so I, I just ran with them about three kilometers and then they turned off and I turned up towards my street. It was really fun, I really enjoyed it, but I wish I got like the name of the club, which is silly of me. I just completely didn't think, I was a bit embarrassed. Um, but yeah, that was it was great. I really enjoyed that. I, I see now why people run in the running club. It's like accountability. Anyway, I need to have a shower because I am sweaty as hell. Okay, so I'm showered, and this is why I love Hello Fresh because it saves 
the day. Today has been chaos. Zara's is finishing up her work drinks, so I'm gonna cook this for dinner. This is the last of the HelloFresh box this week, and I'm so grateful for it. It's the Italian-inspired cannellini and tomato stew with pesto bulgur and hard Italian-style cheese. And this is ready in 20 minutes. It is 7.45 in the evening, so I'm gonna have dinner. It's gonna be nice and light, and it just, oh, looks so good. So let's make some dinner together. I'm gonna put on a playlist. Alexa, Play an elegant affair playlist on Spotify. An elegant affair from Spotify. Such a good playlist. Let's cook. The song from Pretty Woman just came on and it just makes me want to watch it. Does anyone else have that when they hear a song and just transports them to a film? Like whenever I hear any song from the Titanic, I just immediately want to watch it. Anyway, then it's coming along swimmingly. Be ready in about 10 minutes. So this is what it was supposed to look like, and then this is the end result. I've just popped it on a big Sharon platter so Zara can help herself when she comes in. How good does that look? Perfect post-run meal, ready in just under 20 minutes. Delicious. the next day. I forgot to end the vlog yesterday after eating that food and going for a run. I actually fell asleep and I thought okay it's time for bed. So I'm gonna continue this vlog today because I've got a couple of very lovely things happening as well so it's kind of like a two day in the life video. <laughs> so I'm heading to another Christmas press show. I know it's wild. It feels like everything happens in September in the lead up for Christmas um, but this one is with Lakeland so a very very kind of like prestigious brand here in England. I've worked with Lakeland a lot and their products are fantastic. My parents order from Lakeland, my auntie orders from Lakeland. Um, so I'm gonna head to the Great Scotland Yard Hotel in Central and then after that I'm gonna head to Italy because they've got a huge sale on of all of their market produce and pastas and as you know, we love that. So I thought we could go together and have a little look around. So yeah, that's today. It's been a busy 48 hours. I'm like, this is uncharacteristically busy for me. But I like it, it keeps me on my toes. Okay, this is today's outfit, a very simple outfit, but I haven't worn these trousers in ages. These are some double pleated pinstripe trousers. I'm just wearing them with my very comfy New Balance trainers. I wear these everywhere. I trekked around Bologna in these and I nearly walked a marathon in the equivalent of these. They're so comfortable. Just a big black tote bag from Amazon. Amazon Fashion is the one, it's like eight pounds. And an oversized t-shirt from Zara. It's me good to go. And I'm popping on some sunglasses because the sun is making an appearance and it's nice. Autumnal sun is lovely. And fragrance, I've actually gone for Creed today. This is Creed Aventus Cologne. Really, really nice. Very light fragrance, but smells lovely. Right, let's head into town. So I've just got off at Embankment and this is one of my most favourite hotels in London. This is the Corinthia. It is absolutely stunning just in the entranceway when you walk in there's a huge grand piano. And this is Carriages. This is Tom Carriages restaurant adjacent to it. We're heading to the Great Scotland Yard Hotel now so it's just down here and to the left. September catches a lot of people off guard and I can't believe I'm about to go and talk about Christmas again. <laughs> the show must go on. I just need to figure out where I'm going. Let me double check. Oh, what's down this way? Ah, I should trust myself more. Yeah, September catches people off guard because 
Ever since I moved to London, I moved in September and I remember it being so warm. I've been in Rome just the month before in 2016 and I remember moving to London thinking, oh, it's going to be so cold and cozy and I was like, whoo, it was hot. Ah, I was right, there we are, Great Scotland Yard Street and I think the hotel is just here. Okay. Wow. Oh my goodness, guys, this is a very fancy hotel. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Mirrors on the ceiling. Just turn left when you come out. Cool. Oh, here we are. Enjoy of Christmas. Wow, guys, look at this. Step into Christmas. Oh my god, this is incredible. Wow. I love this garland. I think that's such a cool idea. I've always wanted to do something like this. Deck your home with Christmas joy. Tablescape starting from two ninety nine. How good is that? Gosh, wow, that is stunning. Maybe we can recreate something like that this year. <laughs> so I've just been given a tour by one of the Lakeland buyers. So what I'm going to do is show you some of the new pieces this year and then also some of the more classic pieces. With Lakeland, they've already said that they know they aren't the cheapest in the market, but what you do get is really good quality. You can reuse every single year, which I, I really believe in. And I think it's something that's really important for future Christmas is that if you invest well, you only need to buy it the once. And yeah, let me take you around and show you some of my favorite bits. They've also got the wax style LED candles as well, so if you aren't wanting to do the traditional fire melted ones, if you've got kids around, you've got table games going on, you don't want to knock over a candle, then um, these would be a great option and you can reuse them every single year. So I've just been showing these little bags. Now, I know hampers are very popular, but I love the idea that these come in a tote and they start at around £50. This is a English tea hamper and they also use really lovely products that are made all in England. So nothing is kind of like travelling too far. Let me just move that back up. So this is a floral hamper. These are actually made by a northern company. The only thing that isn't made in England is of course the tea. <laughs> but they've got a nice little chutney and Christmas one here and then a slightly Italian style here. So if you want an Italian bag, that's fab. And they've also got some new hampers as well, these guys. These are new. They've got the Lakeland leather, four leather handle on, a lovely little nautical stripe, and then it's filled with lovely delicious treats. These start at £75. And then they've got the slightly larger ones here for £100, so a bit more of a deeper hamper, and you get all of this included. So you've got biscuits, cake, wine. I love a hamper. Zara buys her Nana and Grandad, aunt and uncle hampers all the time, and they love it. I've just been demoed some of the crackers as well. So the crackers start from £20 and the slightly more premium ones are £25. But how cool is this? So these are little wind up gonks. So if your Christmas dinner's taking a bit of a while to um, cook, then you can play this game with um, all of your family. So it's up to six players. You get six crackers in a set and you twist up the gonk and then it runs along the floor. How cool is that? Let me see if I can do it. Just do it one handed. So you twist up the guy like that, pop him on the thing. And then look, there he goes. <laughs> I feel like I need to get these because mom is obsessed with gonks. But yeah, they all come included in the cracker set. And they've also got this one here, which is lovely. So this is a wooden sleigh. And the idea is it's like buckaroo. So all of those presents are removable. And you've got to try and stack them up without them falling out of Santa's sleigh. How lovely is that? Honestly, such a lovely idea. And lastly, I had to show these. So these are advent calendars but they're reusable advent calendars so they're fully wooden so this is like a nativity theme so each door has a different animal or it has someone from the nativity and then this is actually new this year so instead of it having um treats that you can eat each door has a christmas decoration like a bauble that you hang on the christmas tree and this also plays a christmas song as well how special is that these are 100 pounds so slightly more expensive but if you use them for many years you get your monies back every single christmas but they also have the traditional fabric ones as well if this is more your style this is like something we used to have as a kid and each day we'd have a little treat stuffed in for me and my brother and we've still got ours so it shows if you invest well you can use it year on year i've just spotted these and this is something i need to invest in so this is a gift wrap storage bag we really really need one of these because we keep ours in like a little old crate and it's just dreadful and the paper gets crumpled that is so clever so you can pop all of your ribbons and paper in a zip bag and they've also got a storage bag as well for garlands that is so handy honestly i love that so that bag is actually that look at the size of that honestly i'm going to invest in some of them because <laughs> That's going to make Christmas pack away so much easier. This is such a beautiful hotel. I've just finished up with the press day. How gorgeous is this? 
Wow, it smells so good too. I should definitely come back here. Right, on to Italy. What a joy. I love that Chesterfield as well. Wow. Very, very cool indeed. So the reason that I'm in Italy is because they have 50% sale off, which is from the 11th of September all the way to the 8th of October. So 50% off a lot of stuff. Sweet treats, pastas, sauces, olive oils, and everything in between. So that's why I'm here. As you know, I love Italy. I tell everyone about it. This is such a good store. So yeah, I'm gonna pop some things in the basket and uh, let's have a look around. So this is the top floor. So you've got all of like your core produce here. So you've got cheese, olives, everything like that. You've got all of your deli bits too, so you've got your mozzarellas, ricottas, there's a whole meat counter and salumi counter there. You've got um, more deli meats at the back, and then the restaurant is just on the other side. And over here is where they actually make mozzarella over here. But yeah, I'm going to have a little wander around. Some stuff that's already caught my eye. Oh my god, 50% off wine, hell yes. <laughs> I need to get a basket. Guys, these prices are wild. £2.80 for a giant bag of pasta. Look at the size of that rigatoni, it's huge! £2.80, absolutely. I already have a basket. <laughs> Pomodoro sauce in a bottle. How, yes, look at that. How cool is that? Oh my god, I'm gonna get one of those. 198, amazing. We're making pizzas at the weekend, so I'm gonna get some of this Muti pizza sauce. I think I am done. <laughs> I don't know how that's happened. To be honest, these are a gift for Zara's aunt and uncle because they're looking after Maggie for us, but this, this just happened. Wow. If you do one thing, try this Lenostra lemonade. It is absolutely delicious. It's slightly expensive, but I had it in Italy and it's so good. It is like real Sardinian lemons. Absolutely gorgeous. Wow. I'm leaving before I spend any more money. <laughs> There's a whole host of drinks that I have never seen before. This engine gin looks so cool. And they've got some um, red gin and Italian classic gin here. And Campari sodas, how cool are they? Little pre-mixed Campari spritz, love that. Okay, I've just made it back from Italy. I carted all of this home on the central line. It was questionable. Um, I'm honestly so pleased with all of this. I've just filmed a little reel of everything I got and I'm going to do a separate video on Instagram of some recipes using this. But um, yeah, this is everything. I mean, what an absolute treat. We've got two types of pasta. We've got some vanilla wafers, which are just so delicious. Risotto rice with um, saffron. I've never tried this, but I mean, what a fancy treat, eh? Amaretti biscuits. These are so good. They're actually a gift for um, Zara's aunt and uncle, like I said, because she's looking after Maggie. I've got some coffee beans for my coffee machine. Pesto Genovese, which is obviously really good to stir through pastas. We've got some pistachio, whoops, pistachio cookies, so good. And this pistachio cream is so delicious. I got the one with the higher pistachio content. This is 45% pistachio. I got some of that lemonade because it's just the best. Some Modena balsamic vinegar, some Muti pizza sauce because we're having pizzas the weekend. These little pots, I saw them in the fridge and I thought I'd give them a go. Um, yeah, I think they're like a nice creamy, um, well this is chocolate, and then we've got a coffee. So like little cream puddings, and they're in a terracotta pot which I thought was quite cool. A flour sprinkler, got some potato and gnocchi, and some ricotta and spinach pasta as well. We forgot two bottles of passata in these cool glass bottles, how, how nice is that? I've never seen anything like that before. What a day. It's been so, so nice. I really hope you've enjoyed having a look around some Christmas stuff. I mean, I'm kind of in the mood now. I'm not going to lie. I'm ready for it. Bring it on. <laughs> I'm going to wrap up this vlog, guys, but I really hope you have enjoyed it. Everything featured will be linked down below, of course, as well as my link to my HelloFresh core that you can use, which is LC60. So don't forget to use that if you are wanting to try HelloFresh. It's absolutely delicious. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Lots of love to you all. Take care, and I'll catch you all very soon in a future video. Bye for now.